Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kathleen Hemrick and I'm a mental health therapist. Excuse me, that was my sandals. I gotta sit cross-legged. What I wanted to talk about today is a memory that came up for me, which will lead back to why we seek attention from others, even if we are partnered. Okay, so I'm gonna go way back to when I lived in New York City. And I remember um, getting on the train that day with a bouquet of flowers. And um, it was for a friend at work, it was her birthday. And when I sat in the subway in New York, you know, I noticed there was this guy across from me and I was smiling, I was in a good mood, I was excited for my friend's birthday. And he smiled back and I smiled back and you could tell like there was like, oh, this little connection, you know, it was really cute and I was like, oh, I don't know, happy and definitely fostering it. Like I wasn't like, and then moved away. Like energetically, there was some kind of connection going on. So uh, I got off my stop and he got off too. And he came right up to me and he was like, hi. I really, I love your smile or, or whatever it is. He complimented me on a few things and the flowers, he said, oh, the flowers are so beautiful. I'm like, they're for my friend. It's her birthday. He's like, can I get your number? And this is going back, oh my gosh, 20, 24 years ago, 22 years ago. So he might've said that or whatever we used to say back then. And then I went like this and I showed him my wedding ring. And his reaction was like so negative, like very, I think, catastrophic now when I look at it. He was like, what? Why didn't you tell me that? Why, why did you let me get off the train? And I was like, no, I didn't make you get off the train. And he was irate, like not going to physically abuse me, but he was pissed. And I remember going to work and just be like, wow, what a... What's his problem? And now, 23 years later, I realized looking back, and by the way, I did get divorced from the man I was married to at the time. I was unintentionally, or rather unconsciously, seeking out that attention. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with me or bad, but that I wasn't happy in my marriage at the time. I wasn't getting a lot of attention from my then husband. And it felt so good just to have somebody kind of shine on me, right? And I think there was a part of me deep down that knew I should have just been like, smile, and then kind of energetically, we can, we can shift it and be like, okay, not gonna really give to that energy, give to that person right now because I'm married and blah, blah, blah. But I didn't want to do that. It was like a little girl in a candy shop that was like, no, I'm not giving up my, my uh, lollipop. Because I was in denial about how I really didn't feel heard and seen by my then husband. And so what I was trying to do is I was trying to get that energy from somebody else without dealing with the person that I really wanted the energy from. And this very often is why people actually cheat. They are afraid to give up the person that they love or attached to or committed to or built a life with, even though they're not getting what they want. And so they just kind of keep them or this partner or marriage there. And then they kind of slip out and start to get attention from other people. And more than likely, if there's any kind of romantic attention, that's how the affair starts. Affairs or wanting attention from others is rarely about um, wanting that sexual attention. It can manifest initially, like show up as, ooh, he thinks I'm hot and everything. But what I think we're all really seeking down, deep down rather, is validation, being seen, being heard, being loved. And that's very often too, <clears throat> excuse me, why affairs don't work because eventually what ends up happening is the same thing is played out in that affair as it is in their marriage because they haven't really fixed anything. They just transferred their need for validation to this affair person. And very often this affair person is not available on some level. They're still married 
or they start to show up again like their partner does in their marriage. And that's because the person that is having the affair, let's just say it was me, which I didn't have one, but you could say I have an emotional affair in some way, because that person has not looked within themselves and said, hey, instead of seeking attention outwardly from other people in that way, like not, not having friends, I've got to look at my partnership. I've got to look at my marriage. I've got to look at me and be honest. And I have to have a conversation with that person and just say, this is what I'm not getting. Let's talk about it. Because inevitably, my marriage ended and he had not told me how he felt. And so it ended up really, really hurting at the time. And it didn't help that I was in denial. So I hope all that made sense makes you think about why we do the things we do. And I don't know if any of you have noticed, but on a completely different vein note, I got my hair done by this awesome woman named Sharon Fish. She's in Vegas, so if you're in Vegas, give me a shout out. I'll include her information below. But doesn't that look nice? It's my real, close to my real hair color. I am no longer going to be a blonde. I'm going to be me. All right, take care. Thank you again for watching my channel. I really appreciate it when you like, you comment, you subscribe. I am doing this because it makes me feel so good. And of course, because I wanna help people. All right, namaste, take care.